hi, my name's Amit and I'm a tutor here at Point Blank and I teach a music industry project and I've been a DJ, a sound designer and I'm currently a director. I work with some uh, big broadcast companies like Channel 4, who you may have heard of, and Google, just to name a few. I've got two earliest memories really and the first is probably of my mother and her love for soul music which she used to always sing to me when I was a young boy. I kind of remember that as a kind of weird, strange memory. I'm not entirely sure that that's a, a legitimate memory. The other memory that I'm very clear of and that I had to remind my father of was that when he first played me um, a Tamita, the snowflakes are dancing. It's like a, the, the Moog synthesizer or Moog, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. The, the synthesizer playing um, a load of Debussy's uh, tracks, so it's like covers of Debussy with a synthesizer. And he played that to me in a very dark room. He closed the door and turned off all the lights and I sat there and I remember I was terrified of this kind of strange music. This first time I'd ever heard anything like that and that was kind of ambient, weird and bloom, 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 but also kind of classical. So, um, and that held me, apparently I'd asked to be locked in the room, in the dark room, to listen to Tamita uh, on a regular basis. So I think that probably followed all the way through. It certainly led to me producing dark ambient music for a while, later on, that led me into films. Well, I played saxophone at school, so I was in all the school bands, and then I was also in a jazz band and like a blues band. So that was my first experiences in music. I remember I, remember I played all of the recorders. So I had this kind of experience of, mu of music, but then I didn't really come back to it until I was 18, and I bought my first pair of decks on high purchase. And I sat there for three months, trying to work out how to DJ. I probably broke a few records out of frustration. I definitely hit my decks a few times out of frustration. I remember that clearly, thinking I spent all this money and I just punched my decks. That was my first real introduction to dance music, I should think. After being to a club and thinking, this is the most incredible experience I've ever had with all these lights and all of this music, and I'd never heard this kind of bass, if you like, that was my goal. So we just bought those decks, we sat down and we worked it out and we'd phone each other up, me and my mates, and we'd just play down the phone, the mixes that we'd kind of achieved in that time, even if that was just a blend from the quiet bit of one record into the quiet bit of the other, which is how it started for the first three months. Between making music, being a DJ, and then going into films, there was this big gap where I just pursued a career in training and development. So I think that coming back, by going back into sound and into films, and then coming to teach at Point Blank, I've, I've managed to hook in some skills from the past as well as skills from the present and that kind of idea of development all kind of links in one, in one place. The other thing I really love uh, working with the students on is, is their kind of self-development as artists, if you like, or producers, and working with them and kind of exploring what it is that they're trying to do that makes them unique, that gives them an edge in their own work and trying to explore their own concepts a bit more thoroughly rather than just sit down, mess around with a few loops and see what happens trying to get them to think less about that kind of chance, but making more of a structure and an aim for what they're trying to do, and then allow chance to enter that. So that's the kind of um, exciting bit for me, is to see how that turns out with them and to see them growing. When I started making music, there, was, there were limited platforms, and there, wasn't, there weren't any courses or education in it, except for like GCSE or A-level, where you had like music tech. So you just kind of learnt yourself. So you picked up a piece of software, or you picked up, at that time, I think it, we were working on Ataris and stuff like that, so samplers were still about. But we were, and drum machines and things like that, so it was, you kind of learnt the tech and it was very tactile and hands-on and you shared information amongst each other. And that's how you learnt and you made mistakes and then you were able to kind of share that with each other and sh show off. We show each other, oh, this is what I've managed to do, this is what I've managed to do, this one. Oh, it's amazing and we take each other's techniques and you develop as a group. It's kind of interesting to go to a place where there's a whole wealth of that experience and then you can tap into that and kind of bypass all of the mistakes, all of the kind of rummaging through the archives on, in the world of digital music to find your kind of voice, if you like. Mm -hmm.